Hi, welcome back to Metaphysical Corner. This time we're going to use a three herb money charm along with two essential oils. So sort of a blend, but not really. We're going to blend it on the bill. So what you want to do, of course, grab the largest bill that you are able to, one that you are not going to use for making a payment or some other purpose, but this is something that you will be you keeping for at least seven days. Hold the bill in your hand, ask divine source to come in or other ethereal beings, angels, elves, fairies, ascended masters, whomever that you normally work with. Ask them to come in and help you cleanse the spill of any malicious energies. Cleanse this bill of any energies that are stagnant that would impede your progression. Now we're going to use three herbs. We are going to use basil. So we're going to, now when I put it on here, I'm going to pinch it and kind of twirl it or rub it like this so that it breaks up those little small leaves even more. Sprinkle it all around. Sprinkle it, sprinkle it all over. And I also have some bay leaves here. I kind of crush those up. They're not as small as I would like them, but they will do. And I want to use some thyme. I want, of course, no pun intended, thyme. I'm going to twirl it between my fingers like I did the basil so that it would break it up a little more and release the essence a little more. Um, and as I'm doing this, I'm thinking time is working for me. Time is on my side. Time is of the essence to bring this particular work to pass. That's what I want to use on there. And I'm doing this a little backwards. I normally put the oil on first. So for some reason, I'm doing this a little differently than what I normally do. And I'm um, intuitively picking up on some almond. So therefore, I have my little box of goodies over here. So I'm going to come in here and grab some almond. And again, the almond you can pick up in the grocery store. You can pick it up in the baking area with the nuts, in the area with the nuts, or you can get it out of a candy bar. So I'm going, I've, and just crush it. That's all this is, an almond. I took some whole almonds and crushed them. So I'm going to sprinkle this in here too. And the ingredients that I'm using are ingredients that are known for bringing money, encouraging money, or magnetizing things for money. I, the oils I'm going to use is bayberry, uh, and I'm going to anoint each corner and pull into the center. So this corner in, this corner in, this corner in, this corner in, straight into the middle. And I'm going to get some of this French vanilla. And again, that was all they had at the time. You don't need much of that. It's very strong. But the vanilla is going to tone down the bayberry because it has such a bite to it. But also, um, bayberry is one of the old fragrances that was used for money. I'm going to do the same exact thing. I'm going to tap and pull into the center right where I put the bayberry at. I'm going to tap and pull into the center. And that's all that's needed. Um, the vanilla is for good fortune. And so usually the things, almost everything that I use in these uh, recipes will attract money, bring money, or help in some fashion for you to increase your money. Now, we're going to fold this bill. You must fold this bill with bold intention or intent, be matter of fact about it, um, which means not hesitating, not wanting, wishing, and hoping, 
but knowing that this is going to come to pass. Now, if you have a set amount of money that you are trying to get, write it out with the request, uh, make it small, it needs to fit in here um, on metaphysical paper or on parchment paper and place it in here so that it is enclosed with this. Uh, I like to use multiples of the denomination that I'm using. You don't have to, you can use whatever it is you want. Uh, for instance, if I have 10, I may say I want this to be a tenfold return, which is just a hundred dollars. Or I may want it to come as a thousand dollars or a hundred thousand dollars. A lot of time people want to say a uh, hundred thousand, of course, that's what I want, but they don't have the faith for the hundred thousand. So I'm telling you this so that you can say 30 times this, which would be um, $300. You can do it in that manner. You want to do an amount that you feel is achievable, not an amount that you wish or hope to gain and not sure if you will get it because that will really impede the metaphysical work from happening quickly for you. Now, I'm going to fold the bill towards me. I, I am attracting money, so I'm bringing it to me. I want the image on the bill to face me. It's coming to me. It's looking at me. It is intentionally coming to me. This is what I'm thinking while I'm handling this setup. So when I grab this bill and fold it, I'm saying this is how the money is coming to me. It's coming to me swiftly, directly, and quickly, and in abundance. So I always want the face on the image to face me at all times while I'm folding this bill until I get it to the point where I have to make fold it in thirds. And then that way it's okay that it isn't facing me, but I'll put, I'll put it where it's always folding towards me. And I'll show you what I mean. So here we go, we ready? Money is coming to me swiftly and quickly. Money is reaching me in large amounts, and it is happy, happy, overjoyed to come to me. These are the things I say in my money recipes. Now, this is the head or the top of the bill, and this is the bottom of the bill. Money comes to me from the north, the south, the east, and the west. I just folded it in thirds. Money comes to me swiftly and in great abundance. There, you see, I turn it so that it always folds towards me, always forward, folds towards me because it's coming to me. Now I have a piece of thread here that I got off of my altar cloth, one of my altar cloths, and I'm going to tie this almost like a, um, Mm, that combination is quite nice, I must say. It's a little different. I can, excuse me, I can tell the vanilla is taking the bite off of the bayberry, which is a good thing. All right, so back to it. I'm going to wrap this around here a couple of times, this around, turn it, almost like wrapping a present. Doesn't matter if this, um, if I'm, I don't know if I did that right there. I want to make sure I have enough. Sometimes I don't have enough string left over to tie it comfortably. It's okay. And I just can unwrap that. The main part for this is to make sure when you fold that bill is folding towards you. Always, always, always fold towards you. And you want to tie it down tight. You want to tie it more than once. Otherwise, it will unravel. And I'm tying it in a knot. I don't want it to come loose. There. Now, this is a money charm. So now we infuse it and energize it. 
I just do this in hand. If you like to place it in the sunlight, in the moonlight, you can if that's what you choose, but this is how I do it. I now ask divine source to step forward. I ask my ethereal helpers to step forward and help energize this so that this is now a money charm to bring money to me a thousand times more in multiples of 1,000. I receive it. I receive it as it comes quickly, as it comes swiftly, and as it comes in great abundance. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, that is a really nice fragrance, how I mix those two together. Now, this is the important part. This is a money charm. You place it in something empty, like an empty pocket. Do not place it in a purse or a wallet because they have all kinds of stuff in there, unless the purse or wallet is empty. But you want to have this in a place where you can um, touch it at least once a day, make some type of contact with it for seven days, and you can place it in a bowl, excuse me, in a box, but make sure it's empty or some type of dish. Make sure it's empty. Nature hates a void. I mean, it really hates a void. So it's going to bring things into that. Now, as you get money, as you get money, you can do it all together. You can do these together. So you got these bills, you can do them together. So I folded it, the face is facing me. They're coming towards me. You can put these together, fold them, and then place them in there. Place the money charm on top. As you get money, you fold it towards you, thanking those that assisted you. Place it in there and put the money, put the money on top. Now, if this is in your pocket, you can do the same thing, but eventually you're going to have to take the money out of the pocket and put it somewhere. But in the meantime, you want to place it. So if I'm at um, some place and I'm winning money say in a casino or something, and I'm winning money and I pull the tickets out of the machine or I get the money out of the machine, I'll get all of the bills, have all of the bills. This would be in my pocket. And I would go through all the bills. If I go to the window and cash my tickets out or the money comes out the machine, it comes out in coins, I usually just take that and cash it in. But most of the machines not give you a ticket. Uh, anyway, if the bills are given to me, I'm going to go through and put all the bills in the same direction. I'm going to fold this. This will be in my pocket and I'm going to take and put it on top and slide this in my pocket, back in my pocket. Or if I have this in my pocket and I don't want anyone in my business seeing what I'm doing, I will fold these bills, put them all, line them all up, fold them towards me, slide this in my pocket up under where the bill is, and that would be in my pocket like that. So that's how you want to do it. As you're getting the money, you want it to sit under the money charm. If there's a, an amount in there, you want to definitely make sure you're not spending little bits and pieces of the money because you said you needed a certain amount. You won't know when you got that amount if you're spending bits and pieces of it. So as you get it, you put it, set the money charm on top of it. All right, so if you haven't done so already, hit the like, the subscribe, and the notification bell to show just a little channel love.